This PowerPoint will go over some of the critical elements of your syllabus. Before you begin, pause the video and download the syllabus from our Blackboard course page in the Getting Started link. You will also find the course policies there. You may also want to print the syllabus and course policies. Each slide begins with a question. After you read the question, pause the video to see if you can find the answer to the question on the syllabus. Once you think you have the answer, restart the video to see if you were correct. Keep in mind you'll be completing a syllabus festival to celebrate how much you know about the syllabus and course policies. Festivals are essentially quizzes, but they focus on having a positive approach to showing what you know. What are the six student learning outcomes for this course? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. The six student learning outcomes are devise ideas, approaches, and thesis, organize with intro, body, and conclusion, provide close reading of academic text, write essay with minimal errors, identify appropriate topic, and cite using MLA. What does the conduct and integrity policy talk about? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. The conduct and integrity policy talks about appropriate behavior, cheating, and plagiarism. What does the syllabus say about new original work? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. The syllabus says reusing a paper is deceitful and self-plagiarism. If you've already received a grade on a paper, you shouldn't turn it in again for a grade. What percent of your grade do essays count for? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. Essays count for 60% of your grade. Essay 1 is 5%, Essay 2 is 20%, Essay 3 is 25%, and Essay 4 is 10%. The final exam is 15% and the remaining coursework is 25%. What is the minimum number of words and pages you will write? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. You will write 3,500 words, which will be about 12 pages. How many days late can you turn in essays? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. Zero days. Late essays are not accepted. If you have to leave class early, what should you do? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. Tell me before class starts. What percent of the class are you required to be here according to the attendance policy? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. You're required to be here for 90% of the scheduled classes. For a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, you can miss four classes. For a Tuesday, Thursday class, you can miss three classes. If you miss more than the allowed number of classes, you may be withdrawn. Which of the following are considered excused absences? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. None of these are excused absences. There is no differentiation between excused and unexcused absences. The attendance policy accounts for these types of absences. How many tardies equal an absence? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. 
two tardies or early departures equal one absence. <clears throat> How does Wake Tech define an absence? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. <clears throat> an absence is recorded if you miss more than one-third of a class. How many random attendance days will there be? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. You will have four random attendance days. If you're present and on time when I take attendance on these four days, you'll receive an NQA for your efforts to be on time. What happens at the ILC and Real Center? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. You get free tutoring at the ILC and Real Center. If you go to one of these centers for help on your essays, turn in verification that you went and I'll give you two extra points on your essay. Where can you find my office hours? Pause the video to find the answer, then restart the video to see if you're correct. You can find my office hours in Blackboard under faculty information or at the top of the syllabus. I also have real center hours you can find there. I am strict about not using cell phones during class. I have a three strikes and you're out policy. If I see you using your cell phone during class, you'll receive written notification from me at the next class meeting. If I have to warn you three times, an official report will be made that you're in violation of the conduct policy. If you finish classwork early and are waiting on other students, I don't mind if you use it. Otherwise, it should be put away. Some students, <clears throat> excuse me, some students have permission through DSS to use cell phones, laptops, or other electronic devices in class. If I don't ask someone to put a device away, you can assume it's because they have prior permission to have it out. Also, if someone leaves class early and I don't say anything to them, you can assume I already knew they had to leave. Sometimes we make mistakes, myself included. Don't be afraid to make a mistake in class. If you see a mistake I made and point it out, I'll give you an NQA for paying close attention and helping me fix my mistake. Now that you've watched this video, review the syllabus and course policies on your own. You may also want to look over and print out the Student Code of Conduct Highlights file found in Blackboard in the Getting Started link. Have all this information available as you complete the Syllabus Festival in Blackboard. You can find the festival by clicking on Assignments, then click on Festivals. Good luck!